I started my comparison test by doing three dyno runs with the OEM intake manifold at three different boost levels. We started at wastegate boost, which is 17 to 18 PSI, then 26 PSI, and finally 32 PSI. all three runs overlaid on top of each other. You can kind of see the different boost levels and the power and torque that it made. The OEM intake manifold runs and the aftermarket runs were all done at similar conditions. It was about 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit in the dyno room. The ethanol content in the car was 83 to 85 percent. I chose to go with the sleeper designs billet intake manifold. It was already made to fit an LS drive-by wire throttle body has a fuel rail for 12 injectors, even though only six will be used for now. With that, I had to redo a lot of the charge piping from the intercooler to the throttle body. The drive-by wire doesn't provide any significant power gains, but it does improve drivability and idle, and AM Infinity does a great job of controlling it. Once the intake manifold and all the other supporting little modifications were installed, I did uh, three more pulls at the same boost levels, a wastegate, a 25-26 pounds, and then, and then 32 PSI. This first graph shows the OEM intake and then the aftermarket intake on the wastegate boost level. You can see that it loses a little bit of low end torque and then starts picking up power after 6500 RPM. The second graph shows the medium boost level, which was about 26 PSI. Similar results, you lose a little bit of low end torque, and then 65, 6600, it starts climbing above the OEM intake manifold. And then the last graph was the highest boost level, same type of results. Based on the data, I would conclude that if you're planning on revving to 7500 RPM or somewhere in that range, I would stick to the OEM intake manifold. It does a good job of spooling the turbo quick and not losing any low end torque like a big plenum manifold. If you're planning on shooting for peak power, you have a built motor revving to 8,000 plus RPM, I would go with an aftermarket intake manifold such as the Sleeper Designs. It's got a big plenum, shorter runners for that top end power you're looking for.